Greetings, my name is John Gabriel and this is the New Calculus channel. So those of you who are regular viewers will know that I created a video a long time ago, probably about a year and a half to two years ago, where I talked about the little understood Archimedean property. Now, in this video, I'd like to make it very, very simple and show you by comparing some of the definitions that are found in the Big Stupid, which is also known as mainstream academia, uh, uh, also known as the Church of Academia or my intellectual inferiors. So um, this is what this video is going to be about. Let's begin. So Archimedes knew only about the rational numbers. By the way, there aren't any other numbers. And in order to get the proof of that, I encourage you to read my article, which is called How We Got Numbers on LinkedIn. Okay, it's a world acclaimed article. Even PhDs in mathematics have uh, called it the best article they've ever read. Uh, one a particular uh, PhD said that it's a perfect derivation doesn't require any knowledge of sets or anything else beforehand and uh, well I guess you won't know unless you study it on LinkedIn then I've also written a series of articles on the topic of axioms and postulates um, they don't exist in mathematics and mainstream academia did not understand uh, the elements of Euclid or even what Euclid was attempting to do. There are five requirements. They're not axioms and they're not postulates. And I prove this by deriving all those objects from nothing and each one derived from the previous one <clears throat> in a systematic way. So I've created uh, articles on that and also videos. There are four videos on the topic of there are no axioms and postulates in mathematics. And there are five articles on LinkedIn on the same topic. So uh, Archimedes knew nothing about real numbers. And there is no valid construction of real number. Neither Dedekind nor Cauchy produced anything valid in this respect. And I've produced a couple of videos on this topic, which you can see on my YouTube site. Uh, Dedekind was an absolute moron. Um, so let's continue. So this property is stated in many different forms by my intellectual inferiors in the Big Stupid. So we'll see a few examples. Let's look at the first one. The one, <clears throat> the one in red, which says, <clears throat> for every element, uh, X in R, there is no R, by the way. There, there is no set R. There is no infinite set. Infinity is a junk concept. There exists an element N, <laughs> which is part of another imaginary set, natural numbers imaginary infinite set such that x is less than or equal to n. That's incorrect. Okay, so let's give the correct statement. As you see down in the blue over here, I'm correcting it for you. For every magnitude x, whether it's commensurate or incommensurate with any other magnitude, by the way, uh, a, a number is the measure of a magnitude. Okay, so you cannot even talk about a magnitude being a number because it's not a number it's just an idea of size magnitude means the same as size or quantity okay when you measure it you have a number that describes it so you can say meter or kilometer or kilogram or liter but those are all magnitudes you don't know anything about the measure until you actually measure a particular magnitude okay so for every magnitude x, there exists a rational number n, such that x is less than n. Okay, there are no real numbers. So let's see a few other statements. The next one says, incorrectly, let x be a real number. <laughs> there aren't any real numbers. This is from Planet Math. Then there exists a natural number n, such that n is greater than x. And the correct statement, as you see down here, is again, let x be any magnitude then there exists not a natural number because natural numbers by the way are rational numbers the only numbers are rational numbers there are no other numbers natural numbers are ratios by the way they definitely 
are not any different from the rational numbers. And if the morons who came before me understood the elements of Euclid, they would never have called them natural numbers. They would have simply said, those are rational numbers. So there exists an n such that n is greater than x. <clears throat> and this one here is the most highfalutin one, really an idiot from some university of Pennsylvania, I think, called Kazdan. So he says, given an ordered field f, it has a property. If given any positive x and y and f, there is an integer n greater than zero, so that nx is greater than y. Rubbish. The correct statement is, given any magnitudes x and y, there is a rational number, n is greater than zero. Well, the Greeks didn't actually use zero, so, but I'm, I'm actually adding this to correct his statement, so that nx is greater than y. That is the correct statement. There are many statements of the Archimedean property, and all of them are wrong. And this statement here is the correct statement. Given any magnitude x, whether commensurate or incommensurate with any other magnitude, there exist rational numbers, so m and n, both greater than zero, such that m is less than x is less than n. Okay? So Archimedes rejected any notion of real number. He didn't even know of real numbers. He, they, were, they were mythical objects. They, they do not exist. Even today they don't. He understood there are magnitudes that have no measure, and if there was anyone who could have measured pi, it would have been Archimedes. Let me tell you, God, not God, not Allah, not Buddha, not anyone can measure pi, okay? I don't care who it is. Pi is a magnitude that has no measure. It will never be measured. 22 trillion digits means nothing, okay? It's actually kind of stupid how academics today are trying to calculate more and more digits. <laughs> I just laugh every time I read an article about this. It's hilarious. I was the first human after Euclid to understand what he was attempting to do, and that was to write down a perfect derivation of number from nothing. So I've told you earlier that I have articles and videos, so please watch those and become wise. I'm John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.